All right, so now that we went over the basics of WebSQL storage, uh, we're going to start our Sticky Note app. All right, so I have an example here. Well, I have the app here in a folder called Stickies, and you can see it's very small. I actually have all the JavaScript um, inside of the index.html file. All right, and this Stickies.manifest. This is t this is so we can use the app cache or the application cache feature of HTML5 and that allows us to uh, use our application offline okay now the manifest is very simple let me just uh, open it up here at notepad plus plus and you can see all we need to do is um, use this cache manifest title and then we can have a version alright so this, so this is version 1 and then you just want to include the files uh, aside from the index file. Okay, so this is a very, very small example. Uh, we have an images folder which has, um, actually, you know what? We should add these images as well. Let me do that real quick. All right, so you just want to say, you just want to specify your folders and let's see, corkboard dot jpeg and images slash board dot jpeg alright so all the images and we have a CSS file with one style sheet alright so that's that's in there as well so that's all you have to do to create an application cache manifest alright so that's that alright so let's go ahead and check out the application Actually, I already have some notes here. Let me just clear these out real quick. And I apologize if um, this se anything seems a little clunky or slow. This virtual machine has been giving me um, some issues lately. Uh, so what am I doing? Let's open up that index page again. All right, so basically, it gives us uh, a note to start with as long as we don't have anything saved as I just did but I just cleared it out um, so now we have one notepad or one sticky note alright and it gives us down here we have a footer with the last modified date and time alright so you know when you created the note and we can give a note I guess a title let's say home stuff all right, and then we can say maybe pick up kids, um, cook dinner. All right, and then we may have another note. So we just click this button and it pops up another note for us. And we could call this one work stuff. And we could say maybe meeting with boss. Um, I don't know presentation all right so we can have these different um, we can make lists we can actually put whatever we want in here we can even put HTML all right so now if we go ahead and click F12 in Chrome and we go to the Chrome tools and click on the resources tab you can see we can uh, check out our web SQL right here and we have a database called note test all right, and that's that's the database that we'll be creating in our script. If we click that, we have a table called My Stickies. All right, if I click on that, you can see um, all of our entries, well, all of our stickies as a as a field inside of these um, in this table. All right, so we have an ID. So this sticky has an ID of one. Uh, it the note is actually whatever we type inside. So we have a title, and then every, every other line after the title is going to have a div tag wrapped around it. All right, and that's because that's the way, that's the way we put it in our script. That way you can, you can style each, um, each item if you would like. All right, so we also have a timestamp. Um, we have some uh, coordinate uh, columns here, left top basically is the pixels of the note so that when you exit the application and you come back your notes are in the same place and then we have a Z index which makes it so that the most recent notes can uh, go over 
I'm sorry, not the most recent, whatever note you have clicked, when you click on it and hold it, it'll go over the other ones, okay? So that's basically our database, um, and we'll be creating that um, either this video or the next video. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is just design the interface. All right, I like to do interface first before we actually apply our programming. All right, and let me just show you that if we exit out and then we go, then we go back in, our notes are still there. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our folder. All right, so this stickies folder I'm going to rename to finished, and then we'll create a new folder for us to work with. Okay, so very simple structure. We'll have a CSS folder. We'll have an images folder. And actually, I'm actually going to create a, a JavaScript folder and put our JavaScript inside of there because I don't really like the idea of having it all smushed into the HTML file. All right, so now we need our index.html. And we also need our um, manifest file, which I showed you. Uh, it's very simple, so I'm actually just going to copy it. It's so simple that I don't even want to type it out again. Um, all right, so then let's open up the HTML and get started. All right, so let's paste in our shell. Um, we'll give it a title of just stickies and we want to link to our style sheet and that's in the CSS folder and we want to link to our JavaScript as well I don't even think I created the file yet but I'll call it script.js and as far as markup as far as the body we have just pretty much just a button alright so I'm going to create a button uh, with the ID we'll say new note button alright and then we'll have a click handler when we click it it'll call the new note function make the button just say add new sticky okay all right so let's add our CSS we'll create a document called style.css and I should create the JavaScript file while we're at it And then the images I'm going to grab from the finished 